you know, guys, I had to read it in Spanish also so you guys can know that, you know, I am fluent in Spanish. I read, write, and speak Spanish. All right? <laughs> Hey guys, what's your take on, hold on, let me turn this off. Hey guys, what, what's your take on synthetic oil in your machines? Um, the reason I'm bringing it up because um, I had a, uh, someone that, I, I don't have his name, but he left a comment uh, in the uh, description and he was talking about um, that he also uses uh, synthetic oil. In his uh, in his mowers, what what's your take on synthetic oil? Um, I'm 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 pretty uh, for it as of right now. After this next oil change, which I'm gonna do right now, um, I'm gonna start utilizing uh, synthetic oil now in my machines. Now um, I spoke to a mechanic at my local dealer, and he was saying that you know the only thing that cools these engines is air and the oil. So having synthetic oil will greatly improve, uh, you know, the, I guess the cooling process. Also, it'll give you that buffer in between oil changes. Like, you know, me, myself, I don't change my oil um, as often as I should because again, you know, like every last one of us, the customer property takes priority and I know guys I know you're gonna say well you know if your machine is not working properly then you know you're gonna lose uh, you know you're gonna lose a customer blah 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 I understand all that but you know in the middle of summer or, or spring or or even you know close to you know at the beginning of the fall all we think about is making sure that the customer is being taken care of and if you don't have that additional buffer in between as far as an additional mower then you know you kind of you know you kind of out of luck, and you know you're gonna do what you got to do in order to make things happen. So um, I'm not gonna film me uh, changing the oil, guys. There's tons and tons of videos on YouTube and how to change oil. But uh, I will return here after this oil change and basically you know let you know exactly uh, what you know the other the other component of um, you know why I think it's beneficial. For, for 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 me to go into uh, the, the the synthetic oil. Now, let me know, guys. You know, you guys are expert. Like I said before, I don't. I'm not too mechanically inclined. You know, um, I know how to do the basic things, maintenance. But when it comes to engine and all of that, you know, again, I just go by what I'm told. Now, one thing I will say real quick, guys, is that um, just me, I'm not gonna change the oil that I'm using. Uh, until my warranty is expired on my mower uh, because again you know liability and all that good stuff now also let me know if, uh, if that has something to do with your uh, liability as far as you know warranty okay hey guys I, another thing that I want to share with you real quick um, let me turn this around for you to see okay so this is what I used to use guys the SAE 30 four cycle engine oil um, and that's what was recommended to me through my dealer, but now they are recommending the SAE 20W50. Um, they say that because of the heat and, and the moisture here in the southern uh, part of the US that they are recommending us to go from 30 weight to 50 weight all right something new guys hi right, guys I'm in the middle of the uh, old change but um again this is for Kawasaki engines okay and uh, in the back here it states that this engine oil is formulated for use in commercial grade Kawasaki lawnmower engines uh, Base blend provides heavy duty protection in extreme hot environment. 
Engine oil forms a durable barrier of protection designed to reduce metal to metal contact for the absolute maximum life possible. And for my Hispanic brothers, este aceite de motor de cuatro tiempos de Kawasaki está especialmente formulado para su uso en motores de cortado de césped Kawasaki de calidad comercial. La base de la mezcla sintética a una protección para el servicio pesado en ambiente extremo y caliente. All right, so basically guys, yeah, this is uh, formulated for um, extreme weather that we have here down in the south. You know guys, I had to read it in Spanish also so you guys can know that, you know, I am fluent in Spanish. I read, write, and speak Spanish, all right? And again, you need to know a little bit about me, guys. Look at the uh, uh, my prior videos. It'll tell you my 25 years of service in the military and my Hispanic heritage. But let's keep it moving. All right, guys, finish the oil change. So now it's time to go to work. Um, once again, guys, synthetic or regular oil? What is your uh, preference? What do you guys usually do? Um, and uh, how many hours, increments, do you wait until you do your uh, oil change on your lawnmowers? Is it 50 hours, 75 hours, 100 hours, 150 hours, 200 hours, you know? Um, and if you're using synthetic, do you extend your oil changes? You know what I mean? Let's learn from each other, guys. This is what is, this is all about, a quick pop-up video. Uh, and again, Check on the description below and read what other uh, lawn care professionals and uh, people that are giving us their input. Uh, mechanics, let, let us know, you know, small engine mechanics. Because uh, we're not talking about a car, we're talking about lawnmowers. All right, guys, once again, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. You guys stay motivated, stay strong, pop smoke.